Interesting. Notice that at the back there's a little lever down below. That little lever opens up the link for the carriage. I'm just trying to get the carriage. I'll put the brake on. Wind it up. Okay. Now we will get the carriage. Here's the carriage. And the carriage, by the way, has a little lever so that you can move it up, open up inside, look, also we have a little door for the man to go in. And we'll try linking the carriage. Uh, I believe this is the front in such a way Oh 
Okay, I've linked them finally. Put it on the track. That's on track. That's on almost on track. There we go. It's on track. I've already wound it up. Now it's only got a short distance to go. So I will release the, the brake. For some reason it didn't want to start. Maybe I didn't wind it up. I can't remember now. I did. But I've got to remember that I've got a carriage. Okay. Okay, I've got those carriages. Everything seems to be in order. Front one. It's not quite there. There, that one there. Not like in the movies, is it? Ah, oh, that's better. That's better. One of the wheels was off. And here we go. We'll try and release the... Okay, it's skidding because there's not enough traction and uh, the railway is not perfect. The railway tracked. And uh, so there we have it. The train ready to send to Carmel. Now, let me see if I can take the carriage off. Easy to take off. Need to show you inside, you might see the brake and you might not see the brake. But I'll put the brake on. Underneath, there is a pin, a toothpick. And that stops it from going side to side. If we had extra track, you could move the pin to one side so that this could follow the track. So there we have it. Carmel's train.